Hey guys, look here, we're checking out Proctor Springs on Okay guys, so here we are at Proctor Springs, and this is actually here at Cameron Park. And I've already explored so many places here, but this is a place that I hadn't, I didn't even know about this. I did not know about this place. So, let's read what it's got here. Before Cameron Park, there was Proctor Springs. In the late 1700s, the Raco Indians considered the springs sacred grounds. The ice-cold springs were used as a teeth, huh, as a teeth gatherings, Confederate reunions, and holiday celebrations. On May 27, 1910, a joyous announcement revealed that 100 acres of privately owned land at Proctor Springs was purchased and donated to the city for a public park. Mrs. Flora Cameron and family orchestrated the donation of scenic parkland in honor of her husband, the late William Cameron. The park was created for the pleasure of the people and more than 10,000 residents lined the streets for a parade and dedication ceremony. Proctor Springs quickly filled with music, theater, and dance performances. Children took dips in the cool springs and enjoyed the playground, which was built along Wilson Creek. An old slide can still be found embedded in the hillside. In the hillside, sorry. Over the years, raiding pools and fountains were added to the area and visitors flocked to the springs that appeared to flow out of a lion's mouth. In 1930, the Cameron family donated two stone columns to serve as an entrance to the park at 4th Street and Herring Avenue. Soon after, the city constructed the famous Kendall Rose Garden, which featured more than 1,400 rose bushes. The 1950s saw the addition of a miniature train and a large Christmas display. The water and shade trees of Proctor Springs continued to provide the perfect spot for picnics. Despite some criticism, the Herring Avenue Bridge was built in 1970 and split the Proctor Springs property. But the park prevailed and in 1971, the year I was born, the Texas Historical Commission placed a marker at the site. Still today, the allure of Proctor Springs remains strong. Hidden beneath tiring trees, the site's stone stairways curve around the historic springs and give Ricoans a place to escape and enjoy na nature's bounty. Okay, so let's see just what they're talking about here. Let's get a look at these pictures. Let's zoom it back out for you. Here we go. Alright, so let's go check this place out, shall we? Yeah, we've got a plaque here for Mr. Cameron.
dedicated 1910. Okay. Heavy off a hard hole. Hmm. This here I might have to check out as well, as well. Upstream from Crocker Springs. It's, it's Lindsay Hollow. I'll have to check that out later, guys. But today belongs to Proctor Springs. I wonder how many discs has been lost. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be here or not. <laughs> it might be from over there. It'd still be hard. The creek is barely flown, but that is a beautiful, beautiful creek bed. Look at that. I love that. Like, looks like you could grade in it. Hard to tell how deep it is. There's minnows swimming down there. Minnows. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's go on ahead and get over here, guys. Now it appears that um. There's some fun over there, but we'll check that out a little later. Let's go on around and cross this bridge. We've got a lot of water flowing. Well, let's see what's at the top of this, if I can cross over and get into that walk. Apparently, it's overflowing a little. We did have that hard rain the other day. I'm going to get across here. have to kind of watch. It's all spilling away. Okay, we'll see what's up at the top of this. Might be another parking lot or who knows. Well, oh, gotta watch my steps, they're shallow steps. Well, part of the golf course. This has got a disc golf course. And there's one of the holes for the discs. Let's, uh, Get over here out of the way. There's people playing. So, okay, this is cool. This is actually on the top of Herring Avenue. Uh, like, over there is the entrance to the park. And out there is the zoo. Out there is the zoo. And the entrance to the park. So this actually comes up to the top. So let's make our way back down. And we'll continue exploring. I'm wearing my Fitbit. So <laughs> just got myself some extra stairs and steps, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Shame I went on ahead and done my vlog for the day because I've actually done great today. Over 14,000 steps before I even came here, so 
Today's another awesome day. Basically, this is a flow, an overflow for the, the drainage over there. We've got a trail path there. It's kind of washed away. And it goes up here too. So we've got these little drainage holes here. So yeah, this is like basically a wash for overflow aside from the creek that's down there, which probably is just a drainage ditch. And you can get up to the top from there too. I can only imagine how old these steps are. Seeing that the park, this part, Proctor Springs, was made so long ago, was dedicated. So, Oh my, oh wow, you see that? If that would only be full, wow. Huh, this was incredible. Huh. I wonder it didn't look right. You've been seeing everything too close. Then we look at this. Incredible. Incredible. Wow. I can only imagine how old this would have been. I mean, you could tell this is old. This is old. Uh, was it an actual swimming hole or just a raid? Maybe just a raid? To just raid? I don't know. Or maybe it's another pool for uh, overflow when it, when it rains too hard. I have no clue. No clue. None. That is incredible, guys. Okay, so we've got another set of steps over here, like right here, and it goes up there. That just goes to another part of that disc golf. So let's go on ahead and make our way back down, and we'll continue exploring this place. Look here at the beautiful wildflowers. This here is kind of like a wash pond. definitely lives up to its name springs there is a lot of springs up here go over here and look at this creek oh wow look at what I discovered guys make our way down very carefully of course Look here. At one time, I don't know, like 
steps to cross the creek. Cause look there, steps going back up the other side. Wow. Man, if this place could just talk, right? If it could just talk. There are steps everywhere around here. Okay, now for me to make my way back across. Apparently that overflows quite often because it's slick. All right. Comes down from up there. Yep, I got it. Yeah, this is a better angle right here, though. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. A picture of Yelp. I'll get it from there too. And then here we're on the opposite side. We just crossed this nice bridge. So. That's where we just were. We've got just a little bit of a drain waterfall there. They tried to make a conduit, but it broke up. The natural springs work so much better. It's just so beautiful, isn't it, guys? And there's the steps. Okay, let's see if we can tell just where we are. It looks like they have like steps in the water too. Yeah, I'd gotten that. That's like I'd said. If this place could actually speak, I mean, we can re read it on the board, but we can't actually visualize it that well. It would be so awesome to be able to see it the way it was originally. Like all the steps and the natural springs that wasn't touched yet. It would be so fascinating. This had definitely had some water running over it. not there wasn't enough rain to cause a, a good flow of creek but enough for there to be drain off yep look at this we have some more steps, guys. And when the steps were made, they actually carved in them. But they made the steps turn into the rocks. So they only made so many steps. Look at this. There's more steps, guys. Look here. No more steps there. Over there. What is it about all these steps? Man, I wish I knew the history of this place better than what they just told on the board. Need to call Proctor Springs the place of steps. That is incredible. That is old over there, guys. That is old. 
Who? What was it though? Part part of a of a part of a house seat maybe on the steps that went up. Maybe like the steps continued up to the flat there and the house was up there. A lot of it's eroded away. A lot of gravel too. Now this might have been a house seat, guys. And that means that that walk down there just goes out to the old parking lot out there. Another part of the of the disc court over there, but still, nonetheless, I can only imagine this could have very well been a house seat before they put turned it into the disc golf. Okay, so here we have it. That's what it is up here now. But I could imagine perhaps before waters and stuff eroded it and they kind of pounded it out and stuff for the golf. It could have been a house seat. Could have been. Okay, let's make our way back down. Other than me getting back up there where those other people were, this is about it for this, for Proctor Springs. But I tell you what, it's fascinating and beautiful. And as, as I said, just leads out to the old parking lot. This is number one for the course. So, let's head back the other way and we'll see if I can get a little bit more of those springs. Oh, watch where I step. A little bit of an overflow there. Got a natural flung out from in there. 
I wonder how much of that is man-made and how much is natural. Let's see what this reads. Sorry guys, I'm trying to watch my footage back here. Proctor Springs. A good dunk hole. Really good dunk hole. Let's go on up here and see where this goes. I think I might have been up here once when it was actually dry. I think. It seems like I had. But that was a long time ago before I knew anything about this park. Ah, oh, this is hole 11. So, yeah, this is nice up here. Look at all this bamboo. Beautiful. There's bamboo all over this park, guys. Anyway, that does it for Proctor Springs. So much old beauty to it. I love it, guys. Anyway. I hope that you enjoy this video, and I will see you later. Bye. Mm. The one thing that I forgot to mention, guys, is there is this one picnic gazebo here. So, it's got quite a bit of seating on the inside. So, you could very easily do a little family gathering here even even a pretty nice grill so yep this place is nice for a small family gathering hope you enjoyed